channel we have the inaugural kickoff video for you guys today uh, if you might have been able to tell by the thumbnail what today's video is going to be about if you combine the thumbnail with the cars that we have on display back here a couple comparisons some other cars that are similar to what we're going to be opening or showing today you also might have been able to guess it but if you couldn't let's jump right into it up the Tokyo Auto Salon top secret GTR R35 amazing amazing piece um, had to fish this guy off of eBay as most of you probably know there are no retailers currently at least that are releasing this car usually with your expos and special editions you usually end up getting some sort of release from um, distributors and whatnot we will see if that happens with this. Uh, I think if they do come out with one um, and release it to distributors, I think it's going to end up being um, non Tokyo Auto Salon branded. Get this guy fixed back here. Uh, so as you can see here, you've got the top secret um, logo and whatnot in the cardboard on the back. But on the front here, you've got the Tokyo Auto Salon branding uh, special edition. So I think if they end up releasing this to the mass public, um, it will be the same car. It will probably just come with a different sleeve and maybe not the Tokyo Auto Salon uh, verbiage on there, but let's take a look at the car. Let's go ahead and get this cover off because we don't need that on there. Amazing. Wow, what a great, great, great model. This thing is insane. Zoom in a little bit there. Take a look at it. Great detail. You've got your Tokyo Auto Salon 2024 Special Edition verbiage here on the base. Uh, Inno. Let's take a look at the front part here. Nissan R35. GTR R35 Top Secret Tokyo Auto Salon 2022. So I think this car originally debuted at the 2022 Tokyo Auto Salon. Uh, however, they're just now releasing the car. So I'll have to do some research on that and check up on it. But looks like that's what the, the deal is. So let's take a closer look at some of these details, the wheels. Um, I'll put some pictures of the real car here um, just down in the corner so you guys can take a look and see how accurate this model is to the real um, one of one just great detail great great detail so far uh, you've got the titanium exhaust tips super super nice what looks like a, maybe a third brake light or something down here get your carbon fiber trim for the skirts and the rear lip all the way around the car you got your carbon fiber side skirts here. Mm -mm. Very, very, very nice. You got the carbon fiber vents on the fender here. Um, these vents are not cut out in the real car. They would be vented and actually opened. Um, on a die cast in a 164 scale, it would be almost impossible to vent those without making this fender piece too weak. So I totally get that. Not disappointed in that at all. Same thing with the hood here. Uh, maybe if this was an opening hood, you would have these cut out. Um, but with the hood being static, um, you're just going to get the print and whatnot on there. But at least they did take the time to color those in to make it look like it is vented. Um, you'll get a lot of, of um, die cast that has these vents and stuff cut into it, but it's not painted black. It's just there. Um, you do have a little hood pin there. You got the top secret uh, website on the hood here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look down here. You've got top secret. La decal here you got the Potenza so I'm, I'm assuming this this car is probably running Bridgestone Potenzas uh, OZ for the wheels 
you do have, let's see, what's that say on the window there? This is an, uh, Nauruka Tennis. And I can't really make out, what's that say? Keep on, keep on something with the little top secret there. So that's super cool. Got a little bit of detail there on the door handle. That's pretty nice. Uh, you've got your black mirrors, which are rigid. Um, no carbon fiber roof, but a nice black gloss roof there. You do have the um, top secret decal here on the uh, windshield. So that's super nice. Let's take a look at this front end. You do have your GTR badging here in the grill. Top secret, full carbon fiber front grill. Carbon fiber front lip with the red outline. Very, very nice. You do have the LED. Um, I guess these, I think these are blinkers, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that's super cool. Good detail on that. Pretty much gonna get the same thing on the other side. Uh, you can see the brake calipers here behind the wheels. So that's super nice. Got my trusty toothpick for my pointer there. Um, let's see, I see a little decal here. Nope, that's gonna be a light, I believe. I think this is like a reflector or a side light. Um, so super, super nice wing, full carbon fiber plane on the wing, end plates, carbon fiber as well. Nice. The posts are also carbon fiber. Uh, you've got your GTR badging here, Nissan badging there, tail lights, lens tails, super, super nice. Let's get this thing off the base and see if it rolls. I do end up taking all of my inos uh, Tarmax, anything that comes on a base, it comes off and goes into my display case. Um, huge on loose cars. That's probably my biggest thing. I love these cars loose. I love displaying them. Got several loose cases that we'll be going through on the channel, uh, just reviewing some cars and stuff like that. But let's take a look. See, ooh, yes. Look at that. Let's take a look at the other side and see if it rolls equally as nice. Yes. Yes. Awesome. So let's set that guy down there. Great rolling. Great rolling. Perfect. Zoom out a little bit and get a better perspective. All of that. Both sides. Wheel rolling. Awesome. Um, could not be happier with this model. This is kind of a grail piece. Once I saw it drop, I was super excited about trying to obtain one. Uh, then I got a little bit disappointed and found out that they were only going to be distributed at the Tokyo Auto Salon itself. Unfortunately, I do not know any people in Japan to go ahead and grab me one. However, I uh, fished one out on eBay before the prices skyrocketed. Um, these are outrageous now. Uh, within just a matter of a week or two, these things have gone through the roof. So if you're out there looking for one, it might be a good idea to jump on one now before they get even higher. They may come down. We will have to wait and see. Um, we also might get a mass release, so it might be worth holding out and waiting to see if a mass release hits. Again, I think if they did a mass release, uh, you would get the same exact car. The only difference is you wouldn't get the Tokyo Auto Salon branding, which isn't a big deal. If all you care about is the car, uh, which is my case, then cool. Um, I just didn't want to take the chance on waiting to see if a distributor would get them. They don't get them, and then the prices are double or triple what I could have bought it for um, before I made that decision. So um, we've got a few GTRs on display back here. These are all going to be one, two, three, four, five are all mini GTs. And then we have one Tarmac GT3 um, here. So we'll just go through these so you guys can kind of compare look at the quality difference between the Inno and the Minis. Um, size wise, let's set these guys down here. We'll look at the size. Sizing, pretty much exactly the same. Um, no complaints there. Um, looks like the even the ride height is going to be the same. Um, overall, so this is gonna be a Pandem example here. This has a full Pandem kit on it. Um, super, super nice model. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can take a closer look at this guy. We do have the Gretti front mount intercooler there. Uh, unfortunately, on the Mini GT, it looks like we do not have 
a GTR badge in the front grill. Um, that might be due to the Pandem kit, so we won't uh, get too upset about that. Uh, we do have the BBS LM style wheels on there. Got your Pandem branding on the side. Um, I do love the fact that the you can see the spots for the rivets. Uh, so all of those are going to be into the casting itself. Take a look at the rear. Uh, the exhaust has good detail, just like the Tarmac did, or the Innos, excuse me, the Tokyo Auto Salon. Um, you've got your ringed exhaust there. It uh, doesn't really go to anything. I guess you got a pipe or a tip here, so that's pretty cool. Um, you do have your rear diffuser, which your screw goes through. I noticed there was a point where Mini GT was putting this screw underneath any car that had a rear diffuser. So in order to take the car apart, you would have to pull the diffuser off, which was kind of um, a bummer. But uh, all in all, super, super nice. You do have the GTR branding on the back here. So that's a pretty good example there. Let's take a look at the next one, which is going to be a Liberty Walk. Uh, the Liberty Walk very very nice example I have every example of a Liberty Walk GTR kit out here so this is going to be your over fender kit with the gooseneck rear trunk mounted spoiler so that that spoiler is going to mount onto the top of the trunk there um, this guy does have lens tails we've got one that's kind of fallen out it looks like so push that guy back in there never noticed that one before um, so this one does have the titanium exhaust like we saw in the inno so that's pretty cool um i don't think this is a carbon fiber print i think this is just supposed to be like a mesh grill that covers uh the space between the rear bumper and the diffuser uh, same with the diffuser on this one the screw is visible do have some treaded tires there uh, the classic liberty walk wheel that mini gt uses on all or most of their liberty walk um, examples do have a front mount intercooler here and again no gtr bad branding i don't know if that goes with the liberty walk kit or if that's just something that um uh mini gt chose not to do so you do have the gtr branding here but again no nissan branding so i don't know maybe that's something they get around to having to pay nissan extra licensing fees i'm not sure uh, but that's that example You've got the rising sun logo here on the end plate uh, super super cool didn't realize that on those taillights before I'd never really looked at that one that close um, we'll take a look at this next one this one was also a special edition I forget what the release was on this one but it was a special edition came in a purple um, box instead of like a blister or a regular box that mini GTs would come in um, you've got the gold exhaust here the detail on this one is not as good you can see the gold behind there which isn't actually part of the exhaust so kind of like overflowed onto the body itself, but that's all right, we'll live with that. Um, you do have your Liberty Walk branding here on the side, some Liberty Walk decals, uh, lensed headlights again, another front mount intercooler, LB Performance on the front bumper. This one does have a GTR badge on the front bumper. Um, you've got some vents here, and let's see if we're, like we were talking about with the other um, it's painted black, but it's not cut out. So um, this one does have the, I guess this one has a trunk spoiler as well. This is going to be the silhouette kit. So this is the silhouette. You can see how it kind of flows, goes over, comes down. Um, you've got the front canards here. So all in all, super, super cool model. Um, I like this body style a lot. My favorite though are going to be our next two Liberty Walk examples. Uh, this one is going to be the liberty walk with the over fender and the duckbill spoiler so this one is super nice this is the gold ver version uh, mini gt uh, this one the exhaust is not nearly as nice as on the inno you've just got two blue rings there you can tell there's not much going on there's not real detail it's not an exhaust tip per se you're just getting the outside of the tip um, again your screws are going to be open so if you wanted to take this guy apart, you could. Got your Liberty Walk Performance branding on the front mount intercooler there. Liberty Walk decal on the front bumper. Again, no GTR badging on the uh, front grill. You do have the lensed headlights. Uh, this one looks like, I guess they're lensed tails. So this one's kind of weird. You can see the shininess here. 
So it looks like it's a clear lens all around and then they took some red paint and painted around it and just left the centers clear. So it is a lens, but it's not as clean as um, our Inno or a couple of the other um, Mini GTs that we looked at. We do have some Liberty Walk branding here. Looks like another Liberty potential. Is that a scratch maybe? Might be a scratch on that one. Yep, looks like a little scratch I got on the other side. Um, your side badging there. So all in all, another very nice model. Uh, we'll put this guy back. We'll take a look at the, our last Liberty Walk variation, which is gonna be the Kuma Graffiti. This is probably my favorite uh, Mini GT Liberty Walk kit or car um, with the graffiti all over it. They did do a hauler that goes with this car. The car did not come with the hauler, uh, but it does match. Um, it's got a, a container for a trailer which has the same exact um, graffiti all over it. So this one's super, super cool. Another one that shot up in price um, over time. This one didn't climb as nearly as quickly as the Top Secret did, but uh, this one is up there now. So if you're searching for this one still, another one that you might want to just grab before it continues to climb any higher. Good exhaust detail there. Um, better than we saw on the Gold Liberty Walk. Uh, still not as nice as the Inno 64 in my opinion, but for the price point, you really can't go wrong with this Mini GT. Um, this one's got the chassis mounted wing. So we've got the chassis mounted. We had our duck bill back here. We had the silhouette kit with the trunk mounted, and then we had the gooseneck trunk mounted, and then we had the pandem over here with the duck bill. So all kinds of different spoiler variations on these GTRs. Um, the reason I'm showing you guys these, these are my only other R35s in my collection. So that's why I was so kind of um, passionate or, or ready to get the Tokyo Auto Salon variant uh, because I don't really have a stock bodied R35. This would be the Tokyo Auto Salon would be the closest. Even though it's not a stock body, it does have um, top secret arrow, but uh, that's going to be the only non race or non Liberty Walk Pandem version that I have. Finally, we have this Tarmac here. Uh, the others were Mini GT, so we're gonna look at this Tarmac variant. Uh, this one is, you can barely see it. There it is, let's zoom in. So this is a carbon fiber body. Um, again, you've got the vents printed on the fender here. Um, you are not going to be able to cut these out on a 164 die cast. It's just too thin. Um, you're gonna make this too weak in order to keep any type of rigidity or structure to it. Um, the hood vents though, however, are cut out um, as they would be on the real race car. You've got your Nismo, Nissan Nismo branding here. You've got the Motul branding on the front. Um, your Nissan branding with Nismo on the banner on the windshield. Uh, let's take a look here on the side. You've got your Advan and Yokohama branding on the tires there. Race wheel. Um, this looks like a, like a tow hook. Uh, maybe if they wanted to lift the car off the track or something. Uh, I don't think, I guess they could tow it by that as well. You could hook up a strap basically to that and tow the car this way. Uh, let's take a look at the front here. You do have GTR badging. Um, don't ask me what that says. My guess would be Nismo. I don't think it's actually being able to be made out, but uh, some sort of other branding there in the front grille. Do have the lensed headlights. Probably the best looking headlights that I've seen since the Inno. Um, let's take a look at those two side by side. So the Inno, super, super clear. Uh, the, the Tarmac is not as clear, uh, but it does have like some paint it looks like over it. So all in all, not too upset with that. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this Tarmac, for, since it's the race car, does have a tiny antenna here on the roof. Uh, this thing is super, super fragile. I've had to be very, very careful with this since I got it. Uh, these are going to be refillers for the fuel. Uh, so your two holes there, your uh, fuel tank would go up, fill in um, when you're in a four pit stop. Let's take a four pit stop. Let's take a look at the rear here. You got your Nissan badging, GTR, again, Motul. This is going to be your rain light. Uh, looks like a tow hook back here, uh, probably like one of those uh, flaps type of deals. Um, let's take a look at the bottom. On the bottom, you've got your screw is visible uh, with the diffuser there. Screw visible on the front as well. Uh, this guy rolls to an extent. So the fronts roll 
The rears do not. Um, I have not tried loosening the screws on this to see if it would roll. I really wasn't too worried about it since it was a tarmac. I wasn't expecting it to roll. Uh, but yeah, the, the fronts roll great on this guy. The rears, however, do not. So it looks like that tire even came off a little bit there. So we'll go ahead and fix that. Uh, but yeah, all in all, this is a, an extremely cool model. Um, I do love the fact that it is all carbon fiber. Um, you can check that out, see it all the way around. And then you do have a cool exhaust outlet down here. That's gonna be your exhaust for this car. Again, this is a full on race car GT3. So uh, let's take a look, see if we can get some good inside shots because there is really good detail in there. So you've got, looks like maybe a fire suppressant tank down here, that green thing there. Um, you can see the cage inside. Uh, let's see, you can see the venting coming from the fuel filler right into the fuel tank. Uh, so you can see the fuel tank, it goes down into there. So you've got that black hose that comes directly from your fuel filler all the way down and in. Super cool, really, really great detail on that. And let's take a look at the inside. Uh, inside, can't really see too much of that glare is killing us right now. Um, I do see a race seat, so I see a race seat. I see some harnesses there, so that's pretty cool. Good detail, you do have a front windshield wiper here. You can see the cage running up and through here and there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately this window, because it's like a race window, there we go, there's a better shot of that race seat in there. Um, I cannot make out what it says on the head. I would have guessed Recaro, but um, all in all, super cool. So let's take this guy, we'll put him back. Let's get our top secret in there. Just like that, and there you have it. So super, super happy overall with this model. I'm so glad that I picked it up. Glad that I didn't wait for the price to continue to go up or you know, kind of see um, if maybe distributors are gonna get those. I hope so. Um, just for everybody else's sake so people can have that car without having to spend an arm and leg on it. But all in all, um, super happy with it. It's going to be a great addition to the GTR collection and family here. So um, yeah, that'll be it. But um, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, I do want to give a huge shout out to Honest Diecast. I'm going to put a link to his channel um, right down here in the corner. Uh, Derek has been a huge friend and a huge help with getting everything going, getting everything started, um, just kind of giving some insight and encouragement most of, most of all. So um, shout out to Honest Diecast. If you guys haven't already, go and check out his channel, subscribe, um, follow, like, comment, whatever. Um, and then same thing for ours. If you have any questions or you have any comments about any of the cars that we showed today, by all means, drop a comment down below. Um, let me know any questions like that or anything we can get answered. And um, don't forget to, you know, share the channel, uh, subscribe, obviously, hit that notifications button. And uh, we're going to keep uploading. So uh, I can't tell you the frequency at which we will upload, but we've got tons of stuff planned. We'll do openings like we did with this guy. Uh, we'll do comparisons like we did with these. Uh, we'll do wheel swaps. We've got other stuff that we can, we can cook up and, and keep it going. So... Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Again, super, super happy with this piece. If it's one that you were looking at getting but weren't sure if you should pull the trigger, depending on what your price point or your budget's at, um, I would say go ahead and grab it. Uh, this is one of a kind. Super, super happy to add this to the collection. Um, and yeah, I have no complaints whatsoever. So uh, hopefully that gives some of you guys some insight if you have any other questions about it on anything that i may not have covered in the vid by all means like i said drop a comment down below and uh we appreciate you guys for tuning in and we will see you on the next one thank you all appreciate it one love